Hi guys, this is the Reading Aardvark coming to you today with an, uh, the January Owl Crate subscription box. Now I have opened this box before, um, just I had filmed this earlier and I lost my footage. So um, I already opened it, full disclosure, I've seen everything in here, but I still wanted to bring you guys what the Owl Crate box had this month. So, oh, it fell. The first item that fell on the ground that I am going to show you. Oh, well, the theme of this box this month, here's the spoiler card. And it is Vengeance Will Be Mine. So the first box, or the first um, item in this box, I'll actually wait to do that one. Closer to the book, just in case. Um, I'll do this one. This is a pocket mirror. And it has the quote you got words in your soul on it this is from nevernight it is i'm gonna do it like this this is a pocket mirror i don't want to blind you guys with a three compartment case on it for you to put pills mints um if you want to put jewelry this would actually be pretty good for jewelry me personally i have no use for this um so this is definitely going in my um L pile, which is my last pile. Um, how I how I figure out um, book boxes or book subscription boxes is how many items do I actually really like in the box and how many I don't like in the box. And with Alcrate, I've decided I don't put the book or the pen um, because I might read the book and end up liking the pen. So I don't do the pen in it. Um, I will comment on the pen, but I don't count it in it. And I make a pile of W's, which are my wins. And if my L's are um, lower than my wins, I reconsider on if I should keep the box. I do this with all my subscription boxes. Um, and also how practical things are going to be. So the next item in the subscription box is a pin banner. It is inspired by The Hobbit. It's got the map. Um, let's see if it says what kind of map. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope, it just says The Hobbit. I personally don't like The Hobbit. I tried watching it, I tried reading it, not the biggest fan. Um, so this goes in my L pile. Now I would keep this strictly because I need to put my pens on things. Um, but recently I actually did a, a DIY. Let me pull it down for you guys. Um, I made my own pin banner. This is basically a, um, what do they call it? Embroidery hoops. And I just got some fabric and I cut it and I still have to do a little bit. But honestly, I might not do what I was going to do. I was going to glue it to the thing. But I might not do that because I can just put pins through it and it holds the extra fabric down. Because you don't want to cut it too close to the end of the hoop just because it will pull it back through. You want some of that overhang. Um, so yes, I made my own pin banner, so I actually don't need any pin banners and I'm actually about to run out of room on that one. So what I plan on doing is I bought some fabric that, um, complements the starry fabric and I'm going to get smaller hoops and put them around it. Um, I'm about to hang it up on my wall. The next item that we got in there, which I'm super excited about is some Crooked Kingdom socks. Now I haven't read Crooked Kingdom yet. Um, I've read Six of Crows and Shadow of Shadow and Bones of hers, but I loved them so much that I'm trying to get the rest of the series. Um, a little thing that you guys might not know about me: I try to do secondhand books. I don't try to buy new books. The only time I actually really buy new books is through these book boxes. Um, and sometimes at Target, I will buy a couple new books. And if I can't find like the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass could not, for the life of me, find any more in the series. Um, or I couldn't find A Court of Mist and Fury. That's what it was. I couldn't find that one secondhand anywhere, so I had to buy it. Um, but I really do try to buy secondhand most of the time, just so that, you know, not that I don't like new books, guys. I also just keep the cost low so I can keep reading more and also help out the world a little bit um, by 
recycling in a different way uh, other than throwing away. So, um, looking forward to reading this. Even though I haven't read the series, this does go in my win pile, um, just because I know I'm going to like her. I love Leah Bardugo. I say her Leah Bardugo for other ways. Don't know how to say it. I'm going with that. The next item in the box is a candle. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. Is a candle by a quart of candles. Now on this candle, you will see that it also has some sparkles on the inside. And it's not a wood wick candle. Um, I personally like this better. But I also will burn anything. Um, you should see me on candle days, Bath and Body Works, man. I am up in that joint spending lots of money. Um, I currently still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles I haven't burned yet that are, you know, in hand. And I'm burning one actually right now. Um, and then this will make nine. I really do like the smell of this. I am saving this one for the summer though because it is a very citrusy smell. It's orange, uzu, and evergreen. Um, to me, it's very citrusy, so it's like a spring kind of one. Um, so I definitely will keep this. Now, this is from um, Never, not Nevernight. Um, Blood and uh, Children of Blood and Bone. Now, that's a book that I don't think unless I am gifted it, sent it in a subscription box. Um, I will be reading. It does not interest me. Um, maybe I'll pick it up later. It's just one of those books at the moment I don't have any interest in. Um, apparently you got, there are four different types of candles and you got um, one of the four. So um, other people got different things. So if you got an Outcrate box for the month of January, let us know which one you got. Um, so I'm going to put it in my wind pile just because I like candles, not because I like the scent too. So, don't know, really don't have any interest in reading the book that it came from, but still like the scent, and I love candles. Now, the next thing, I took it out of the box, um, but I am super excited about it. It's a Karakuzi mug from Harry Potter. Now, I got this, I've seen them going circulating around, and I was like, I'm not gonna buy it, I'm not gonna do it, because people are selling these things for a lot, um... There's one guy selling them for 50. Um, I just bought one for 40. Um, but they are selling them for quite a bit of money. Um, this one that we got in the Outcrate box is Year 5, The Order of the Phoenix. And it has Grimwald Place. It has Dolores, Dum Dum Dolores Umbridge. It also has the Thresials. I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name of these horses. If you know, comment down below. We've got the Mysteries Department that had the um, globes with the um, prophecies. Then you also have the kids fighting some of the um, Death Eaters. And then you've got the bridge between life and death. Now, super excited about this box. I knew it was coming, or this box, this mug. I knew it was coming. It was one of the spoilers they had, and I was super excited about it. So, glad that I was able to get this. Um, and then, um, I got it, and I said, I have to have the rest of them. Like, I have to get them. So, I went on to Alcrate, and they were only selling year two and three. Um, they weren't selling year four, which I knew they had already done. Um... And I was like, I, I'm going to buy two and three. So I went ahead and bought two and three. But I was like, I have to have year four. Like, I have to have a complete collection. And once the full collection comes out, guys, I have a feeling that these are going to be super expensive to buy off of people. Um, I paid $40 with shipping. Um, that's including shipping. And I did get year four. And year four does have Harry Potter fighting um, his horn tail. Um dragon and then you've got the castle in the background you've got um both of the the ship and the carriage i remember their names just not right now um and then you've got the um, maze with the people watching and you can also see um yeah i think that still has the cup there even though the cup's over here but you also see the um the the graveyard with the triwizard cup and i want to say if you guys see it right up there i want to say that's probably when they're fighting and 
and their wands connect. That wasn't in this month's box, but I kind of just, I just had to show you guys. Um, so super excited. Love these mugs. Um, can't wait to get my other two in. Can't wait for Alcrate to do more of them. But on to one of, um, to, I have so far right now, I have two in my lost pile and three in my win pile. Um, the next two items I don't put in piles just because I don't know yet. So before we get to the book, this is a pin that will not focus for the life of me. Um, but it says blood to blood, name to name, and bone to bone. This is their monthly um, pin and they go along with the book. Which the book is dun, 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 Scavenge the Stars. Have not read anything about this. I've seen it going around on Goodreads. This is the Alcrate exclusive cover. Um, there's the only thing that's on the bareback is that it just says Scavenge the Stars in, gold, er, in silver foiling. Um, nothing special about the ends of the book, but with every Alcrate special or book, you do get a signed edition. Um, basically, we're following a girl named Amaya who rescues somebody from a ship. She's on a debtor ship. The person is Kao Mercado. Um, and they meet. Amaya and Kato become um, entangled in a dangerous game of deception. Um, Amaya is trying to get revenge. Um, it, is, it is a duology. Um, and there is a gender swapping retelling of the co the court the Count of Monte Crisco Cristo not Crisco you sorry Crisco um this is a book I would probably never pick up for myself um that's why I like getting these or uh, getting out crate is it some of these ones I would not pick up for myself I've been out of the fantasy um, world for a little bit I've been heavily into the sci-fi um realm. Of books um, so getting back into fantasy I'm liking it um, I think I just read Winterwood which was the first book box I got it was an okay one I wasn't like blown out of the box with it but um, last month was Guinevere Deception that's on this month's TBR and this one will probably be in I'll read it after February um, I typically don't read the books right away because I've already set my TBR by the time I get them. So, um, from this book, I would say it was a win. Um, it was close. I, um, personally, if I was counting the pen, I do not like the style of this pen. I do love Forensic and Flowers, though. Um, this one just wasn't my style of pen. Um, and I might not keep it, depending on if I like the book or not. If I like the book, I typically keep the pin, even if I don't like it, just because I like to uh, show my fandom and my that I like it. Um, of course, you know, along with this, you get the letter from the author. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way. Which I like that she added a little boat. Um, you also always get the booklet that has games, interviews, um, books that you might be like if you like this book. It also has the photo challenge. What I like about All Crate is that they do a Spotify playlist for me to read while I read or listen to while I read the book. I don't like to listen or read books in silence. So super excited about that. And then um, next month is A Power Within. So it's got a witch on it. It also has some potions on it. Um, it does say Mandrake Plate or Plant. So I'm hoping we get some more Harry Potter stuff within next next month's box. Um, if we don't, I'm going to be super sad that they let us on with Harry Potter in the spoiler card. And it doesn't come in. Um, but next, um, this is the spoiler for next uh, month's box. So if you don't want to look away, mute me. Um, but it is a set of playing cards based on a throne of glass. So super excited about that. I want to keep it. Um, I don't really want to use them as playing cards because I don't really use playing cards, but I'm going to use it as the little photos of the characters. And if there's any scenes, and I'm going to tack them up on my bookshelf when I get a new bookshelf. As you guys can see, my bookshelf is non-existent right now because it broke. Um, literally fell over. It's a cheap one from Walmart, so I'm saving up for a better one. Um, but like I said, this box was a win for me. 
um, just because, especially with the Harry Potter. Um, now, value of this box, I definitely think I got my value out of it. I pay $38. This mug alone pretty much got me my value. Um, I would say that this candle is probably 2 to $3, at most 5 um, just because of the branding. These ones, I'd, the socks, I'd say are $7, um, if not 10 like I said, because of the fandom on them. The pocket mirror, can't really give too much, but I would say $4 at the most. And the pin banner, I wouldn't pay more than, even if it was something that I liked, I wouldn't pay more than $7 to $10 for it. So, I want to say I got my value back. I never add the book or the pin in with the value, just because um, I don't put them in if I like the box. I already did the math. I get about $11 in return value and extra value. So I am super excited about that. Um, so definitely um, my favorite item is the mug. My second favorite are the socks. And my third favorite is the candle. Um, comment down below on what your favorite item from this month's box was. And um, also if you got a different candle, let me know if you got a different candle. Also, I am looking into adding another subscription book box um, subscription, and I am at, currently in between Fake Crate and um, Beacon Box. Illumicrate is a little bit out of my price range, even though I would love to get Illumicrate. Um, also, kind of looking at Harry Potter boxes, maybe instead of a book box, doing Harry Potter boxes. Um, but they're a little out of my price range too. I'm not looking more to go over forty dollars with shipping. Um, so if you guys have, if you want Beacon Box or if you want Fairy Loot, tell me why, why you love them down in the comments. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope that you have a good rest of your day and keep on reading.